In the last video we produced a boat hull in FreeCAD using the Curved Shapes Workbench. There we started from existing sketches. Someone named Sankick099 commented on that video suggesting to see it from the scratch, which I believe means that he'd also like to see the part where I draw the sketches. So today we're going to do that outside of FreeCAD in a program called Inkscape. Here I've opened it. Let's start by making a horizontal and vertical line. Use the drawing tool and left click to start drawing, left click again to add a point and right click to exit drawing mode. Here you can change the width, I choose 100 millimeters just for this quick tutorial. If you drag a node near another one, you can snap it in place which makes Inkscape actually a quite accurate sketching program. Now I'm drawing a rough top view of a boat. We will need a top view, front view and side view for this to work correctly. With the node selection tool and the align and distribution tab, I make sure the shape has the correct final dimensions. For many of these things, there are also keyboard shortcuts. Keep in mind that I'm designing a random boat hull and not calculating anything like hydrodynamics, center of gravity or center of buoyancy. This tutorial is just to teach you how to use FreeCAD and Inkscape to create a shape similar to this one. You could also use the sketcher inside FreeCAD. I thought it would be a nice addition to show how to do it with Inkscape so you learn how to integrate paths into FreeCAD as well.
In Inkscape, the horizontal axis translates to the x-axis and the vertical axis is the y-axis. The top left corner of the page is the origin. So I want to have a point to snap to in that origin point. The way I will do that is by creating a line such as this one, then giving it zero thickness by removing the stroke paint and finally aligning it to the top left corner of the page. After that I stroke paint it again, so I can see where it is while I'm selecting other shapes. Once everything is in place, we can save them in unique files which makes it easy to use them later as a sketch in FreeCAD. I use Ctrl All and Shift Left click on the desired path plus delete to keep the desired path. You can make final adjustments where needed. I always make sure to update the master sketch as well for possible future use. Now let's open FreeCAD. Let's start by importing our created paths. We will convert them from a path to a sketch in the draft workbench. After the path is converted, you can simply delete it. Next, the sketches must be positioned correctly, so do that. Now it's possible to make the 3D shape in the Curved Shapes workbench. I believe this is not a default free CAD workbench. I usually select between 50 and a 100 items. This will define how closely the final shape follows the sketches. Usually it's good to keep an offset from the start and end as it can otherwise produce poor results depending of the used sketches. Keep that in mind in your design and dimensions. We will create a solid body, so turn solid to true and you are finished.
The sketches might remain visible, so you can hide them manually by selecting them and pressing space. Let's cut the shape now to also use the sketcher inside FreeCAD. With this tool, if you press M, you can toggle through curve modes. I'm just constraining it by eye for this tutorial. And voila, extrude it symmetrically in the part workbench. Cut the two shapes and you end up with something like this. Let's take this a final step further. Let's make a stepped hull, something similar to what you see on a Midnight Express boat, for example. Here I've already slightly modified the master sketch in Inkscape. Let's draw an exotic cutout shape. Just copy that over to the aft section and snap it in place. We will need to know the distance from the origin, so let's measure that. We will cut these cutouts by using a sweep along the hull. Be sure to watch our other video on 3D sweeps if this is new to you.
I will create two reference planes that will guide us when making an appropriate sketch. We save the sketches and simply follow along here. I will show it a single time as it's the same method for the two cutouts. Okay I hope you guys have been able to follow at your own pace so far. Sometimes FreeCAD will render the curved shape in a strange and accurate way. For this reason you can export the shape to an STL mesh and view that mesh instead to verify its accuracy.
I'll render the shape of this tutorial in Blender to show what it looks like. Thank you Sankix099 for your suggestion. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and please like and subscribe for more content and to help this little channel grow.